Tsai broke promise on South China Sea, says top United States General. Washington the United States military top general said on Wednesday that Chinese President Xi Jinping reneged on promises not to militarize the South China Sea and called for selective action to hold Beijing responsible. Jen. Joseph Dunford, chair of the Pentagon's Joint Chiefs of Staff, said he was not calling for military action but stressed that there was a need to enforce international law. The fall of 2015. President Xi Jinping promised President Obama that they would not militarize the island. So what we see today are 10,000, hyphen foot, 3,000, hyphen meters, runway, ammunition storage facilities, routine deployment of missile defense capabilities, aviation capabilities, and so forth. Dunford said in a talk on United States security and defense at Brookings Institution. So clearly they have walked away from that commitment, he said. China reclamation the South China Sea is in my judgment not a pile of rocks. Dunford continues, referring to the series of reefs and outcrops that have been claimed as territory by China, reclaimed and expanded to accommodate military forces and large aircraft. What is at stake in the South China Sea and elsewhere where there are territorial claims is the rule of law, international law, norms and standards, he said, when we ignore actions that are not in compliance with international rules, norms and standards, we have just set a new standard, he added. I'm not suggesting a military response, Dunford stressed. What needs to happen is coherent collective action to those who violate international norms and standards. They need to be held accountable in some way so that future violations are better. Washington has been frustrated by an inability to stall China's aggressive military colonization of the South China Sea, which rejects conflicting territorial claims by five other countries Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei, Indonesia and Philippines. In 2016, the UN dash back permanent court of arbitration in the Hague invalidated China's claim over nearly the entire South China Sea in a challenge brought by the Philippines three years earlier. Thus China ignored the ruling, and proceeded to build military outposts on seven Philippine flame three, muscling protests from the Southeast Asian nation by flying its new government under President Rodrigo Duterte with a loans and pledges of investment. Freedom of navigation The United States has sent Navy vessels through the areas claimed by China as international freedom of navigation operations, but otherwise has found responding difficult. Dunford acknowledged that building on the Chinese plane brief has slowed. But, he said, I assume that's because the islands have now been developed to the point where they provide the military capability that the Chinese require them to have. Another United States defense official, Pentagon Chief Patrick Shanahan, kicked off a week long Asian tour on Wednesday with an eye to strengthening ties with regional allies and having handed talks with his Chinese counterpart on Beijing's growing might. It's more about listening and being able to hear from the Ali Band partners, the acting United States Defense Secretary said in a plane bound for Jakarta, Indonesia. Indonesia is the first leg of a tour that also includes stops in Singapore, South Korea and Japan. On Thursday, Shanahan was expected to meet with Indonesian President Joko, with over after talks with Foreign Minister Regno Marsudi and Defense Minister Ryanether Dryakuju. Shangri-La Dialogue in Singapore on Saturday, Shanahan is to meet Chinese Defense Minister Wei Feng on the sidelines of the Shangri-La Dialogue Regional Defense Forum. I want to identify areas where we can cooperate, Shanahan told reporters accompanying him on the trip, adding that he hopes to have very candid discussions around intellectual property tests for militarization of the South China Sea. He said rising tensions would not prevent the United States from pushing forward with a defense strategy that sees China and Russia as Washington's main rivals. We have the capacity to spin a lot of plates, he added. Washington has deployed some 1,500 troops, an aircraft carrier, a warship, B-52 bombers and a Patriot missile battery in the Middle East citing threats from Iran or pro-government militias toward its interests and troops in that region. AFP, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.